Hey guys, Dave Canterbury at the Pathfinder School. Back out here at the forge. You know, one of the things that I really like about blacksmithing is, is that a lot of the tools that you need to be self-reliant, you can easily make if you understand basic forging techniques. The more advanced your forging techniques get, the more complicated tools you can make. Today what we're going to do is we're going to try a couple other things uh, as far as techniques go because once you get certain techniques down, that allows you to expand your repertoire of things that you can make. Once you've learned how to heat treat a knife properly, now you can heat treat tools. So now you can make punches, you can make chisels, you can make other types of sharp implements. And once you understand how to temper them, then you just have to learn how to make those implements and you already know the tempering process. So it makes it that much easier. Once you understand how to form metal, then you can do a lot of other projects as well. One of the things that we're going to do today is we're going to try to make a ladle or a spoon type looking device. And to do that, we need a rounder. And we've talked about in the past videos, we talked about this trailer hitch being round and it being a perfect hardy tool for that purpose. Now, it doesn't quite fit in my hardy hole because it's round and a little bigger diameter than the square hardy hole is. So I really need to pound this down a little bit on four sides and make it more angular so it will fit my hardy hole. But I've got to have something to hold on to this with to be able to pull it out of the fire and bang on it. I have an old pair of horseshoe nippers right here. Came from an antique store or a garage sale or something. I know I paid less than five bucks for these. If I knock this pin out and adjust these jaws a little bit, I'll be able to hold on to this just like this. Once I adjust those jaws out, it will close further around this and I'll be able to hold it. So I'm going to make a set of tongs to hold something bigger in diameter, basically is what I'm going to do. So the first thing we need to do is heat these tongs up and make the tool to make another tool to make another tool. That's the way blacksmithing works. That's what I love about it so much. Stay with me, guys. might be tricky right here. Okay. Now we've got that cut off. We're going to heat the jaws. We're not too hot out here. I thought we would be, but we're not. Now we're going to heat these jaws up. We're going to adjust those a little bit as well. What we needed to do was bend this jaw out a little bit. So I'm going to try to Put it on my anvil and bang on it a little bit to try to bend it open. So the whole tool is getting kind of hot. And you can see how much of a bend we got there already. And now I'm going to do the same thing to the other side. I may end up having to put some gloves on for this. It is getting hot. It's not hot enough to burn through leather gloves, but it is hot enough that I don't really want to hold on to it. And I kind of have to hold on to this piece to be able to bang on it. trying to get those fairly even. Bend that out a little bit more. Now you see when I've got the handles completely closed, what I've got, I think what I'm going to do is I'm going to kind of work the jaws down just a little bit as well so they're not quite as wide. I thought maybe I'd give you a look at our forge pot here so you can kind of see what we're looking at, what we got. You can see that tool is very, very hot and it's ready to be worked. So I'm going to put a glove on and grab it, start banging on it a little bit. Grab our try to grab our trailer hitch here and see what that. Okay, you can see what we need to do here is we need to 
get that thing to where it clamps down on top of that a little bit better than that or it might hold the ball which that might be okay too so let's try that and see what happens I'll put another glove on here so I can open both of these up okay so here's our ball that we're wanting to grab with our tongs that's not going to put a very good hold on there for hammering. That's not bad right there. I can beat on that and it'll hold it for sure. So with that being the case, I'm going to put that ball in there and get it to start heating up. I'm going to quench these tongs. trying to do is just make sure that it's straight pretty much already fits no problem you can stand it go down a little bit further in there so I need to get it heated up a little higher up and bang on it there we go this is what we're looking for right there okay let's heat this dude up and we'll cool it down I want to get it a little bit straighter, a little bit crooked right there. Just a little crooked. Try to straighten that up. And then we're going to quench it. 